Welcome to Cano College Huskies Hall. I'm Curtis J. Phillips, Sports Information Officer for the Cano College Huskies and Sports Writer for the Alberta College's Athletic Conference. First off, I'd like to thank Shaw TV for giving you this time to show you what's happening in the Huskies world. And this month, we're showing you the Athlete of the Month for the September for the Cano College Huskies, males and females. And we select from the Athletes of the Week. So let's take a look at the nominations, Athletes of the Week for the men. We start off for the week of September 7th, the 13th, 2015 for the men with Huskies men's soccer rookie Kyle Cummings. Cummings from Kingston, Jamaica scored two goals in his debut game as the Huskies defeated the host University of Alberta Augustana Vikings 3-0. Pedro Bianche, a third-year student athlete enrolled in environmental technology diploma, has been instrumental in assisting the Cano College Huskies to a Canadian Collegiate Athletic Association number three ranking while undefeated in six games. Named the Cano College Huskies Athlete of the Week for September 14th to 20th, the 5'11 midfielder had a goal and was named Player of the Game in a 5-2 win against a visiting Concordia University of Edmonton Thunder. Rodrigo Wogo Kolbisch scored an incredible five goals in two away games against the host Grand Prairie Regional College Wolves in 5-1 and 4-0 victories. A third-year player from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and enrolled in Business Administration Management Certificate, he is the top scorer in the CCA men's soccer despite missing a few games, with seven goals in only five games. And those were the three nominations for the Athlete of the Month for Keanu College Huskies. Three great nominations, weekly winners, but we have the champion here, not champion, everybody's a winner, uh, Rodrigo Wogo Kobush, the Athlete of the Month for September for the Cano College Huskies men's soccer team. Congratulations, Rodrigo. Thanks, CJ. And now we got to talk about the big event which got you this uh, uh, accolades. Five goals against the Grand Prairie Wolves. A 5-1 victory. You had three goals. A 4-2 victory. Two goals. Five goals. You're now one of the leading scorers from coast to coast to coast in the Canadian Collegiate Athletic Association. Was that one of the first times you've ever scored three goals in an outdoor soccer game? Um, I think it was the second time. The first time it was when I it was my first year. I scored against Kings in the last game of the season. And now, what's amazing is Rodrigo is from uh, Sao Paulo. Brazil, uh, Rio de Janeiro. Rio, yeah. Uh, de, how do you say it? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and there it's so populous. You know, millions and millions of people packed into small areas. They have futsal, indoor soccer. So you'd only played two or three outdoor soccer games prior to coming to Canada. What was that experience like stepping on the first time three years ago onto outdoor soccer field and in the weather too? The weather was quite different. Yeah, it's, it was hard because like I I'd never played before. I played two or three games, so it's kind of it's very different from futsal because the big space you have a lot of lot, lots of time at the ball. So I. I took a long time to get, to get used to it. And getting used to it, you spoke maybe, I remember the first meeting Rodrigo, he could, he could say, what is your name? Do you want a date? And that, you know, it's for the girls. And that was the only language he knew. But you know, you've come from Portuguese and your English is fantastic right now. How hard was it adapting to the culture off, off the soccer pitch? How hard was it hard to adapt? Uh, it's hard because like, when I first got here, I couldn't understand the, the, the coach. He's, he's speaking the drills. and. I couldn't understand nothing, and I had, I, had, I had to ask Pedro, the other Brazilian, to help me because he was here from like six months before me. So I, I had to ask help, and it was kind of hard, but like now I think it's fine. I understand everything, and it's much easier now, I think. You're one of the top scorers not only in the ACAC but the CCAA. How does that, there, there's a Tavares also on the team that speaks Portuguese? Uh, Rodrigo and Pedro. Yeah, so we got uh, three of you speak Portuguese. Yes. How does that help out on the front lines? Do you speak Portuguese sometimes? And you know, when you get a break or something like that, do you speak Portuguese on the soccer field? Yes, all the time. Me, Pedro, and Rodrigo, we always speak Portuguese in, in the field. And, so, and we are teaching some, the guys some words. So the other team doesn't know what we are talking. So it's easier for us. So I think it helps us a lot too. What are some of the words? Like men on. We teach them men on. We teach them first post, second post. Some words that help us, like the free kicks, corners, and all this stuff. Okay, for our viewers on Husky Hall, uh, maybe tell us in Portuguese, how do you say that? Menon, you say ladrão. Ladrão, yeah. Yeah, and first post, you say primeiro pau, 
and second Porsche say segundo pau. So and, it helped us, yeah. And how do you say goal? Go. Go. <laughs> now you had a lot of goals. That's a lot of goals. Three goals and five goals. The Huskies are phenomenal this year, ranked number three. But what I notice about you too, Rodrigo, is when you're playing is you give a lot of assists. You have shots on goal, but you set up your teammates a lot. What gives you more pleasure, a, a beautiful assist or a goal? Uh, I think both because I help the team. That's what I think. Like, it doesn't matter if, it's, if we score or if I give an assist. If the team wins, that's fine for me. And your futsal season, three-time defending champion, the Cattle College Huskies. Uh, how do you compare the two? If futsal, which is indoor soccer or outdoor soccer, what's the difference in the two sports? The space, of course, it's huge. Like in the soccer, it's like have 11 players. Futsal have five. Uh, time with the ball, you don't have like in futsal, you don't have time to think. You get the ball, the guy's like right beside you, so you have to pass the ball, run. In soccer, we have more time, so I think that's the biggest difference between those two. And what do you enjoy the joy better, futsal or soccer? <laughs> it's a hard question. Oh, or are they equal? It's a hard question, but like, I think soccer, I think I like my, better soccer. And now, uh, your nickname, Baby. <laughs> Maybe tell us a bit about why, how that nickname came about, and do you like it? I, I don't mind. And I think, it, I'm not sure why, but I think it was because of my first year, I got injured in the third game. I twist my ankle, and Connor wants me to play, but I, I couldn't because I was limping, I was hurting, and they started calling me baby because I, I was hurt. I don't know, I was injured, and they started calling me baby because of this, I think. I, 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 I remember that was you know first year, wasn't it? Yeah, my first year. I, I remember that, and I, th I think the cold had something to do with it, too, because I remember you were... The guys are out there, you bundled up in three or four jackets, so the cold was very yeah, different like from... Uh, it was 15 degrees and I was wearing my parka, and the guys was wearing like <laughs> normal shirts. Probably, probably too. And the student life, you're, stu you're, you're, you're a, a student athlete. What has the student life, life been to you so far at Keanu College? Um, I think I've learned too much. I think I grew up a lot, like studying here, because it's a different culture. I learned a lot, I learned a lot of language. I think it's like, it's going to be very important for me in my, my life, my career that I choose, and all these things. What's your next step? In the, I know your uh, near future goal is to win the ACAC championship and then go on to the CCAAs last year. Last year, the Cattle Hall Huskies placed fifth in the CCAAs in the Montreal. What was that like playing at that level? It was very different. It was much um, harder than I thought because the first game, we didn't know, like, and we got and we lost 7-0 and like we kind of like kind of it was like hard for us but like the second game we stepped up and we went 5-2 and then we got better and then finished a fifth I think was a good position and for this year I wish we at least can be at, at the top three in the, in the country. Well you're ranked number three right now and with the 5-1 and 4-0 uh, wins against Grand Prairie College Wolves. You're probably going to go up to number one in the polls, and you'll be one of the top scorers with seven goals in only five games so far in the ACAC. Past college level, is there any chance or uh, that you can see a future in pro soccer? Um, I don't think so, because I think I'm too old now. Like 22 is. Kinda, oh, 22 is very old to go to the next it's level. It's kind of old, that. I think. Yeah, so. I'm planning to finish my f five years. I don't know if it's in Keanu or not, but like, finish the five years, getting my education and keep, I don't know. Well, that's Rodrigo yeah. Wogolkovich. Congratulations. Thank and you. Rodrigo is the Athlete of the Month for September for Keanu College Huskies. We're right back for the Female Athlete of the Month for Keanu College Huskies for September on Huskies Hall. And here's some trivia questions regarding Huskies history. Hopefully you got some of those questions right to the Cattle Huskies Hall Trivia. And right now we're going to take a look at the three nominees weekly athletes of the month to see who is the athlete of the month for September for Women's Huskies Athletics.
And now the weekly nominations for the Keanu Huskies Athlete of the Month for September for women. And we start with the Athlete of the Week for September 7th to 13th, 2015 with Huskies Women's Soccer second year player, Jolene Bradley. She is enrolled in Practical Nurse Diploma and she scored Keanu Huskies only goal in a 1-1 tie against the host University of Alberta Augustana Vikings. Goalkeeper Haley Craddock, Business Administration Accounting Certificate, a third year player from Campbell River, BC, has only allowed opponents to score six goals in four ACAC regular season games to date. The previous slow for goals allowed by Huskies in Huskies history, and that's been since 2002, were nine goals in 2009-2010. Haley was Athlete of the Week for September 14th to 20th. A second year midfielder from Windsor, Ontario, Annabelle Rode is enrolled in Environmental Technology Diploma and she was a key in the Huskies earning a scoreless tie and a low scoring 2-0 loss to the Grand Prairie Regional College Wolves for the week September 21st, 27, 2015. And our Athlete of the Month for the females none other than Haley Craddock of the women's soccer team. Congratulations for being named the Athlete of the Month for September. Now, there's a bit of a transition in your sport. The last two years you were playing softball at a JUCO college in uh, the States. Maybe tell us about where you played and what was that like playing softball north, south of the border? Yeah, well, um, I was about 20 minutes south of Seattle. Um, it was a great experience. It was a big city, which I was used to, smaller town back on the island in BC. Um, playing softball was great. Um, the level of competitiveness was awesome. Um, a great change from Canada. And I just took in all the experience I could and played my sport that I loved, and it was great. What was the name of the college? Uh, Highline Community College. And located in? Uh, Des Moines, Washington. Des Moines, Washington. Now, you, what position did you play? I was pitcher and third base. Pitcher and third base. Yeah. So you're doing the offense as a pitcher, third base, you're playing some defense. Yeah. You made the transition to soccer where you're playing goal now. How did you end up coming to the Keanu College Huskies? Uh, well, I actually went over to Seattle with a teammate, uh, Paige Hughes, who also plays for the Keanu Huskies. Um, she contacted Ian. Uh, she found out about the Keanu position through an, a previous player. Um, so after she spoke with Ian, she told me that I should talk to him as well and see if I can get on, and here I am. So. What is your favorite? Like sometimes. Uh, uh, if you talk to me, my, my best sport was track and field, but my favorite sport by far was basketball. What is your best sport? What is your favorite? Um, I always thought that I was stronger at softball, and it was also my favorite growing up, but as I went on to Seattle and played for two years, I missed soccer so much. So now that I'm here, I kind of see both of them um, as my favorite and as my best because I'm always succeeding in both. So. And with the ACAC, what kind of level have you seen so far playing against the other teams? Um, I've seen a little mix. Um, Nate was definitely very strong. Um, it reminded me of playing back in high school against the higher up teams. Um, a lot of talented girls. Um, whereas more Augustana and uh, Concordia, it was a little bit less um, talent, but they were still strong teams and obviously gave us good competition. Now we were talking early before uh, coming on air here on Huskies Howl, and I said to you, you know, you said, we lost 1-0 to Nate, and it was, I felt so bad about the loss. But I told you that was a win. In past years when we played the Nate Dukes, the score sometimes would be 10-0, 11-0, 12-0. And now you had a 1-0 loss to the Nate Dukes, and that's a win. Does, do, you, do you still feel that's a loss, even though you know the past history? I mean, with my standards that I set, yes, it's a loss. But like you say, um, compared to last, or the previous years, it is a win. And... Um, looking back at the game, we played the strongest I think we've played all season. Um, we made one error that led to the goal, and besides that, we, we kept a strong hold and we really challenged them. So. And not only, you know, you, you've set a record for the lowest scores allowed since 2002, since the stats have been kept, uh, the lowest ga the goals allowed in the first four, ga four games of the season. I think it was four goals you've allowed, uh, yes. and the previous was nine goals, so that's 50% improvement. Or 150. I wasn't very good at math in school, but uh, uh, but the last game is zero the scoreless game against the Husky against Grand Prairie Regional Wolves in Grand Prairie. You showed you could play more than one position. Right. Um, <clears throat> yes. I mean, 
I, I've got to give it to my defensive line. Um, I'd say they're probably the strongest part of our team right now. Um, they keep it very easy for me. I get very few shots and very few opportunities, but on those ones, I try my best to save it. Um, this weekend, I did get the opportunity to play midfield, and I told the girls going into it, um, tell me, scream at me if I'm out of position, because I, I've never played here before, but I am hungry to score. And sitting back in the net and getting ties and losses, I, I, I told the coach, put me out. I'm, I want to help out, and I want to do what I can to help us get some goals, because that's what we need right now. So. And speaking of goals, you know, uh, we were talking, you may play another year for the Canada College Huskies, but you also have your sights set on possibly playing softball against south of the border, be it Division One or Division Two. Yes, that was my um, thought process before this opportunity at Keanu had arised. Um, but now that I am here, I'm looking at my educational path and sports path with my two more years after this el eligibility. Um, and I think Keanu is probably where I will stay. And, and I'll put you on the spot real quick. Uh, is it harder to be a student athlete south of the border or harder to be a student athlete north of the border? I think it's all to do with experience. For me, going to a junior college, it was definitely a lot easier there. Um, it kind of seemed like their level of courses was more like our high school, whereas here, it's definitely a, a step up. You need to hold yourself accountable to do your homework and things like that. Otherwise, you will struggle in the classroom. And, and what are you taking? Um, this year, I'm taking business uh, accounting. Um, but I hope to get into the environmental technology. I need to do some upgrading, but. Yeah, well, well, my wife is president of the Wood Buffalo Environment Association, so maybe you know, she'll get your job oh. after you, gra you graduated. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, Haley Craddock, once again, congratulations on being our first Athlete of the Month for September for 2015-2016. This is Curtis J. Phillips for Huskies Howl. Thank you for watching. <laughs>